This is a pre-cal topic four practice assessment uh, for that topic four. I'm doing the second uh, row of the solve the equations on the back. So uh, six plus sine theta equals 12. Uh, theta is running from negative eight pi to eight pi, so it's in radians, and it looks like there's no multiplier, so the period is two pi. All right, let's solve this. Subtract six from both sides. So I get uh, sine theta equals six. And so from, uh, you might notice right away that sine theta will never spit out six. Sine only spits out values between negative one and one. Inclusive. Um, but if you didn't see it and you went to go arc sine of, of six, you're gonna get an error. So we can just say no solution. That one, taken care of. All right, next one. Um, Looking at theta values from negative 2 pi to 2 pi, so it's in radians. And if I think about my period, I have this multiplier of 2. So my period is 2 pi over 2, which is pi. So this is going to repeat itself every, every pi radians. So let me work to solve this. Subtract 4 from both sides. So I have 7 cosine uh, times 2x of 2, uh, divide both sides by 7, cosine of something, that 2x is uh, 2 sevenths. So I'm going to inverse cosine that 2 sevenths. And let me see, do that in my calculator. I get about 1.281. This is cosine, so it was that many radians there. Remember cosine's width, so I want this angle here as well, which would be 2 pi minus uh, that value. So notice those are, those are my answers, so that's what 2x equals. So 2x equals uh, 1.281, and if I go 2 pi minus that, I get about uh, 5.0, sorry, 0, 0, 002. Come on, pen. There we go. And so now if I want to know what x is, I divide everything by 2. So I'm going to divide everything by 2. So uh, those divisions will give me about a point six four one and a uh, 2.501. So now um, I know my period is pi. So I'm going to add and subtract pi values and get all my answers that are between um, negative 2 pi and 2 pi. So I've got my uh, 0 0.641 and my 2.501. And uh, let's see, if I add pi to this one, it gives me about um, 3.783. If I add pi to this one, it gives me about 5.643. And I notice I'm starting to get past 2 pi after that. So now I'm going to do some subtracting pi. If I subtract pi from 2501, um, I actually get negative 0.641. And if I subtract pi from that uh, 0.641, negative 2.501 and then I'll subtract pi from both these values again and I'm just going to keep going until I start to get past negative 2 pi 0 0.3782 and if I go one more um, negative 5 clean that up Negative 5.642. So I got a bunch of answers in there. And uh, can plug them all back in, shove them back into here. They should spit out something close to six. All right, next one. Um, negative 4 to 4, I'm in radians. I have this multiplier of pi. So my period is going to be 2 pi divided by pi. 
So my period's two, so I'm gonna add and subtract uh, values of two to get all the answers. Let me sub uh, solve this. So subtract three, four times sine of uh, pi x equals one, divide by four, sine of pi x equals one fourth. That seems to check out. So let me arc sine one fourth. And uh, I get about 0.253. And since it's sine, sine's height, this angle and this angle, if I go pi minus that value, I'll get the other angle. So notice those aren't the answers. That's what pi times x is equal to. It's 0.253. And then pi minus that is about 2.88. I think it's a 9. Uh-huh. Great. And again, those aren't the answers yet because uh, I have to divide by pi. So x is about 0 0.081 and about 0.0. 920. And right now you could check them, plug it back in for x, make sure this equals 4, or something close to 4. Um, remember my period is 2, so I'm going to add and subtract 2 values to uh, get all the answers within this negative 4 to 4 range. So again, all I'm doing is I'm, I'm adding 2 and subtracting 2 from, from each of these values. And I actually get a pretty big long list of answers, negative 3.91. Uh, 919, negative 3.08, negative 9.1, uh, 919, negative 1.08, um, 0.081, 0 0.920, those are kind of my primary solutions. And notice I just got these, like I subtracted two from this, and I subtracted two from this, and I just kept subtracting two. And I'm gonna keep adding two to them, so I'm in danger of passing four, and that happens pretty quick, actually. Uh, 2.081, if I add two to that, I'm past four, and two plus this one is, is 2.920. And here they all are. Whew. Again, plug it back in. Check on next to the equal uh, 0.0.